Hello, grade three students. Okay, everybody stand up. Attention, get ready for the prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, let's sing our good morning song first in three, two, one, and good morning, my friend. How are you? Good morning, class. Good morning, friends. Good morning, everyone. Let's start our day with love and respect. Now, everybody look outside and tell me, what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? Correct. Today is sunny day. Good job, everyone. Okay, before you sit down, please check the pieces of papers under your desk and chairs and throw it in our trash bin. Okay? All right. Okay, everybody sit down. You're welcome. Now, group leaders, I want you to check all of your members if they're all present today. Group one, group two, group three, group four. Good, everyone is present. Now let's have a very quick review of our lesson yesterday. What was our lesson yesterday? Okay, Peter, raise your hand when you want to speak. Remember our rule number two? Okay, our lesson yesterday was about pronouns. Now, what is a pronoun? Okay, Elsa, correct. A pronoun is a substitute for noun or noun phrases. Okay. Now, can you give me an example of a pronoun? Raise your hand. Okay, Mario. Yes, I, we, he, she, they, and it. Good job. Okay. Now, do you want to play a game? Okay, Louder, do you want to play a game? Good. Since everybody wants to play a game, teacher has here a ball. Okay? Teacher will play a music and you need to pass this ball around to your classmates. Once the music stops, you are going to give two sentences. First is a thing or things that are near you. And second is thing or things that are far from you. Okay? Was it clear? Okay, when it's clear, you say clear teacher. Okay? Good job. So let's start. Are you ready? Are you ready to play the game? Okay, since everybody's ready, okay, let's start with Peter. Catch the ball. Good catch, Peter. Okay, no shouting. Just pass the ball. Okay. All right, can you give me two sentences? Great. Okay, pass the ball. Okay. All right, give me two sentences. All right. Good job, Elsa. Elsa said, this is a pen that is a window. Good job. Okay, now everybody take your seats. Uh, be quiet. So before we start our lesson, I would like to introduce to you our objective for today's class. Number one, we are going to identify the difference of each demonstrative pronouns. This, these, that, and those. Second, we are going to construct statements and questions using our demonstrative pronouns. And lastly, we're going to use the demonstrative pronouns in group work and group conversations. Okay, now, I want you to look at the four chairs in front. So you have chair number one, chair number two, three, and then four. So, I want you to observe carefully, okay? Listen and observe carefully. What is this? This is an ukulele. What are these? These are books. What is that? That is a stuffed toy. What are those? Those are stuffed toys. Now, what have you observed? Correct. This, these, that, and those. So, what are these four words here? Correct. We call them demonstrative Pronoun. So what is demonstrative pronoun? Demonstrative pronoun are pronouns that point to specific things. So we have this, these, that, and those. So when do we use this? This is used for singular nouns that are near, or refers to nouns, singular nouns that are near. Singular, that means only one. Now, these, when do we use these? These refers to plural, plural means many, Good things that are near, when you point things that are near. Now that, that is used for 
things that are sing that is singular but far. So let me just put this here. Next, those. That refers to things, plural things, that are far. So this singular near, these plural near, that singular far, and those plural far. Okay, is it clear? All right, can we say clear, teacher? Okay, since everything is clear, can we change a statement into a question with demonstrative pronoun? Correct, we can change it to a question form. How can we do that? How can we change it into a question form? Very easy. We are just going to reverse the position of our demonstrative pronoun and our verb. So we have here an example. This is a ukulele. Is this a ukulele? So you reverse your verb and your demonstrative pronoun. Next, these are books. Are these books? Next, this is a stuffed toy. Is that a stuffed toy? Sorry, that is a stuffed toy. Is that a stuffed toy? And lastly, those are stuffed toys. Are those stuffed toys? Okay, so is it clear? Easy? All right, so everything is clear? Okay, so since everything is clear, we are going to use the demonstrative pronouns, a statement, and question form. So, can somebody give me a statement and a question form for this? Raise your hand. Okay, Anna? Correct. How about that? Alexa? Correct. How about these? RJ? Correct. How about those? Margie? Very good. So everything is clear? Since everything is clear, our lesson was clear, let's check if it was really clear. We are going to play a game by group. We have group one, two, three, and four. Each T or each group will have one flag. Okay? Teacher will show you pictures here and sentences. You are going to complete the sentence by putting the correct demonstrative pronoun. So if you want to answer, you need to raise your flag. However, you need to wait for teacher to say go before you can raise your flag. Questions? Okay, no questions. Are you ready? Okay, since everybody is ready, okay, team of uh, group one, please pass the other flags to the other groups. Ready? And let's start with our first sentence for today. Okay? All right. Quiet. No shouting. First sentence. Blind are Rebecca's drawing pins. Go. Correct group one. Those. Second sentence. Blind is my mom's favorite bag. Go. Correct group two. Next. Blind is the watering can I use very often. Go. Correct, group three. So, good job, everybody. So, since everybody participated in this game, let's give everyone a very good clap. So, what are we going to do? Three claps, three stamps, and good job. Ready, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. Okay. So, we're not yet done. We are still going to play with our group mates. So, I have here a board game. We are going to... Play it by rolling the dice, and then you need to construct sentences or statements and questions using demonstrative pronoun. The first student who wins the game will be the winner, of course. Okay, so one sheet and one die per team. Okay, pass it. Okay, all right. Start. Very good, finish. Who's the winner, group one? Group two, group three, Group four. Okay. Now, since everybody understand the lesson, did you really understand the lesson? Okay. So we are going to have a very quick quiz. So, you are going to construct statements and question in this quiz sheet. Okay. So get one piece of paper, pass it to the student at the back. Okay, be quiet, no shouting. Alright, start. Finish. 
Very good. Students at the back, please pass your papers in front. Leaders, collect all the papers. All right. So, was it easy? Okay. So, since everybody's very good today, let's give ourselves a superhero clap. How can we do this? Three claps, three stamps, superhero. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. So before we go home, please get your assignment notebook because we are going to copy today's assignment. So, number one, our assignment for tomorrow, what is an adjective? And number two, write 10 examples of adjectives. All right? Okay. So, done copying. Okay, everybody stand up. Attention. Check if there are pieces of papers under your chairs and desk. Throw it in a trash bin. Okay, be quiet. Goodbye class. Goodbye friends. Goodbye everyone. Have a great day. Okay?